Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and welcome to our YouTube channel. Here we teach you simple tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you create your own graphics, animations, and visual effects. Our number one project is to help you with your projects. So what's going on? Um, in this tutorial, I want to go over something, uh, a little trick I just figured out. I was taking a look at some things with other animation programs actually in Blender and how they were doing a parallax, uh, two and a half D parallax with the face. And I was like, I bet I could do that with Toon Boom Harmony. So uh, I'm gonna do this a little bit different than the way I would normally do it. I'm going to just kind of do a rough overview of how I set this up. And hey, if you want me to go in more detail, leave comments, which by the way, if you're not a subscriber to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Be sure to ring my bell or click the bell the, the, the bell icon on, on the YouTube thing. Anyway, so uh, this is in Harmony Premium. I am playing around with not only several layers, but I've gone in and I've placed the face on a back layer here and the eyes are moved forward. If you look at the top view, the nose is moved forward. Actually, I might see if I can move the nose a little bit more forward. Okay. And let's go up here. There's the mouth and the hair front, of course, has to be in front of everything. The hair back is behind everything. And in addition to this, uh, each layer I have set up in with enable 3D selected. Okay as well as I also popped all these guys on a peg and I just have one little master peg. So I'm enabling 3d there. So what I end up with is the following. So let's go here or grab the peg. Ah, there we are. So if I grab the peg and zoom in here, so we can see what's going on and I can rotate this backward and forward. And it's kind of a nice, neat little look there. Um, I can even tilt her up, her or him, I don't know. So I just thought it was an interesting thing to play around with. So not sure if this is going to be a full tutorial or something I want to try out or not but it looks kind of interesting. And you can also see what's happening over here in our camera view. So I think this will be kind of cool. All right, looks good. And I'll simply go ahead and press the letter R and get back to our normal setting. So anyway, that is my thoughts on doing like a two and a half D parallax type thingy uh, using the 3D and Harmony Premium. And I'd like to hear some thoughts on it. What do you guys think? You know, like, how does that work? Does it not work? Uh, hey, what do you want to do with this? Do we want to go with a full blown tutorial? That's great, Tony, but how would you do that with, I don't know, something different? Anyway, I'm rambling. So uh, I want to close out with a little shout out to Onion Skin. Uh, it, it, there's this tutorial he just did that was remarkably incredible. Um, remarkable, remarkable, worthy of making remarks about. Yeah. That's, that's what it means. Anyway, <laughs> he did this tutorial and I just saw it. And I was just like, you bastard. Um, and I, I, I have the most ut utmost love and respect for dude. A uh, little bit backstory on the, on the whole bastard thing. When I was in college, we, I was an animation major, oh, illustration major, actually. Uh, so my roommate and I were both illustration majors. And so we had this code of, if your work was really good, we'd be like bastard. And we got like, that was a five bastard piece. It's worth me calling you a bastard five times. So anyway, go check out the latest tutorial that Onion Skin did. It's just evil and awesome. This is kind of cool. I think I actually like this. I'm going to have to do something more full with this. 
This is interesting. I may have to actually take a look at that and uh Hmm. Have to try out the new uh controllers maybe with that. The master controllers, that'd be interesting to do with this system. Ah, uh, not too far. But yeah, I think this would be kind of a cool thing to play around with. And I may have to do that. So anyway. If you like the tutorial, make sure you click on the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please be sure to subscribe with us. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.